burst into the gas. Door oh, to door contact! The six falling back quickly. Big crash back here. Here comes Blaney around. Kyle Busch going in. Will oh. they miss the wall? A close call there. Blaney may have gotten into the... He did hard into the inside. Couldn't steer the car away from the, the direction it was going. I don't think there's anything Blaney could have done to change where this car was headed. Yeah, that all started way ahead of him. Jones around. Back oh, across the field. The big one, part two at Daytona. Yeah, they can't oh. do this. Oh. Oh. Say hi. Nice straight. Did anybody oh. hit you there, Kel? A horrific crash for... Looks like there might have been some contact there. And there you see Kyle, top of your screen. Kyle bumps into Larson and it turns him to the left. Elliot Sadler hit there by Brendan Gaughan. And there's the 54. You saw Matt the Kenta took advantage of on the high side. There goes Gordon on the inside. They're going to split it going into one. Boy, I think Junior may have spun the tires, Larry. And what a break that was for Gordon. But look on the high side. Oh, Gordon comes up. Oh, he, goes he, got, he got Kenta. Oh, and there goes Jeff. Jeff's in the inside wall. Hard oh. into the wall. Caution will wave. Caution will wave. The field is frozen. Well, oh, now it's just a, like a... A real rat race down here into turn one. Jeff's on the bottom. Here comes Matt up on the outside. I think Jeff just shoves up right there, yep. gets into him ever so slightly. And look at Greg Biffle slide by, but that inside lick on the inside wall is what tore Jeff's car all to pieces. Let's see what happened. Right here. Maybe he just—I think he just got oh, out in no. the debris. Yeah, he just got dirt. He just got out in the uh, loose stuff, and then it just went straight in the fence. And boy, it pushed that wall back. Like, oh, oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Wow. Like Moore said, got into the six car. David Reagan. Oh, my goodness. That's a hard lick for David Reagan, but this, mm. oh, my goodness. Out, out. Terrible crash. Hey, look right over here. You can see, like, not Ryan Newman overran that corner just a little bit. You see quite a few cars over there. Come back on the track. Contact between Biffle and Newman. Yes, Biffle came back on the track. Newman was right there. Got right into him and hard into that guardrail and the tires. Sends him back out in the middle of the track here into McDowell. You see the rear end housing to loose from the car and then they put over the fence. That last. And no, no. That horrible crash. And fire on the racetrack. It's knocked the gas tank out of the 41 car. That's what we see blazing over there. Is I think the gas tank is over against the wall. Makes right there is the white car. And Spencer sideways, and Steve Grissom trying to dodge Spencer. Just all of a sudden, boom, and look at the car go up in the air. Is that, that's the Mike Skinner car. Yep. Mike Skinner and Steve Grissom trying to dodge Skinner. I mean, the 23 car of Spencer. And look, there's the gas tank. Yes. Hang it's, on a second. I'll show you this gas tank, folks, as it goes across the racetrack. Right up there is yep. the gas tank. And it makes contact. And they're going to give Hornaday oh. the go button and tell him ready to go. There's a caution coming on four. Big crash. You oh nine gets slammed into there. Slammed into Andy With Lally double. in the double zero. Yeah, the 9 came across the racetrack. Andy Lally nowhere to go. Was forced into the inside wall. And now Andy Lally will have a little bit of a hard time getting out of that truck. Jacques Villeneuve, the 27. He's the truck that made contact with Stacy Compton. See, he turns Stacy around. Stacy tries to. He's got the wheels cut to the left when he clears that 27 truck and pulled them right down in front of Andy Lally. And what hard contact. That's there was. concrete, too. Yeah, no safer barrier no safer down there. Eight, got around the 66. Oh, oh, a big one on the front straight here. And Bowman's involved. The 30. Stewart Friesen, caution out. And we're going to have that restart we were talking about. That Josh pit lane Williams. penalty, which had put him back in the field. 
So there's Balicki. Looked like Friesen got into the back end of him. Boy, that's a hard hit for that Man, 30. That is a bad angle. But again, we we saw we saw Balicki climb out of that club out of that truck. That is a massive testament to the. It's very reminiscent of what happened here. Oh, oh around trouble. goes Hamlin. Oh, and no. right in front of Boyer and into the wall hard goes McMurray and Jeff Gordon. Not again. Chess car is destroyed. Still side by side for the lead. Oh, and into the wall goes Haley. Caution is out. That's this is exactly what we talked about earlier. It wasn't necessarily started with him. It started with the car behind him. He got in line. William Byron got in the back of him. Nothing. Shoved nothing him with, up into the five. The five thought he was retaliating. Exactly. Put him in. This is my shot. This is what I saw. All of a sudden, Eric Jones just goes right. Really weird look. Makes you wonder if he just had rear brake or something. Austin Cindric. Oh, 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 we got another one. Set the 19. Yep. Same oh, situation. Wow. Oh. And Same right situation. under him. Oh, and into the wall. It was the 40. Oh, my gosh. Cole Custer. Nowhere to go there. Big fire. He had uh, a big. Oh, the 34. Right McDowell 34, yep. checks up. Truex gets into him. And he's slowing down, and here comes Cole Custer through to the inside. Nowhere to go. Has no idea. Mark Church Jr.'s had damage. Now that right, thank goodness there's a little bit of a safer barrier. Well, is that a That's safer barrier? That's a foam barrier. Yeah. It's a foam, foam wall. Barrier. Yes. Thank goodness that well, was oh, and Around goes the 07 of Cole Custer. A lot of damage to the front of that car. A big impact for the 07. That's in turn five. And we're seeing a little bit of flames out of the hood. Game. We see right here, it's big contact, Steve, to the wall. And to Rick's point, that's driver's left. So he didn't go straight through the corner with no brakes. He's definitely turned to the left. So we're not sure how he got there, Rick. Yeah. But to your point, whether it sounds like it was a brake failure.